Namaste. So now welcome to the contract act section of the course. Open your bear act to section two. Even if you are a student from a non-law background, you will start to notice in all of your bear acts, section two usually defines the terminology that is going to be used in that specific law slash statute. All right, intimidation clause. When one person signifies to another his willingness to do, for example, let us say that you want to buy out my car. All right, hypothetically, let's presume that it's a Fortuna, even though I don't have one. Let's presume that it's a Fortuna, all right? And you want to buy off my car. Now, you express or you signify your willingness to do. That's what the section is saying, correct? So you say, I'm going to buy it for, let us say, 20 lakhs, all right? Or to abstain from doing anything. So that's a negative point. With a view to obtaining the assent of that other. So why are you doing such a thing? Is to obtain assent. So you are signifying point number one. You are doing this to obtain the assent. Ki samne wala haan bhar de. Bhai, you are making an offer slash proposal to me. All right. That I want to buy your car for 20 lakhs. What are you basically doing this for? To obtain my assent. Unless and until I say yes to it. How will you proceed ahead? So you are making what do we call? A proposal he said to make a proposal now now in your answer whenever you'll be writing an answer on such terminology in the law option if if you can write this down word to word it will be great there is no match to it if you can't then make two bullet points and write signifies to another and with a view to obtaining the assent is equal to proposal all right proposal me do these are the sign of one one basically the most crucial that is you have to signify it and we are going to discuss this even more and repeat this point and and why are you doing what is your signification for to obtain the assent of the other and when you have done such a thing you are set to make a proposal so from this date onwards when you have heard this definition legally this is what a proposal is you know from this date onwards that is what the point that, that i was trying to make is that up just say for example you know you like someone you have a crush etc you are asking them out you are proposing to them that will you be my girlfriend slash boyfriend and in some cases then in a, in a, a wife basically a spouse then that is a proposal in layman language but legally speaking this is what is a proposal to aaj se aapke liye ye proposal ho gaya aaj se aapke jo jo fool jo leke ek dusre ke paas jate hain wo se proposal ruk gaye Basically, hai to same cheese, but we are just writing it in a more beautiful, more fanciful manner. Okay. When the person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent, there too, the proposal is said to be accepted. Pehle kya aya tha ji? Proposal. Correct. Yehi aya tha na. A proposal mein humne saamne wale ke ji, you are buying out my fortune. I say, okay, great. So now I have accepted your proposal. As soon as I accept your proposal, it becomes a, becomes a, promise okay so now legally speaking proposal plus acceptance is equal to promise simple as that theek hai ji humne baat cheet kari aapne ek offer rakha hai that you have signified to with the view to obtain my assent therefore now it has become and i have given the assent therefore now it's become a promise so a proposal with an acceptance is a promise okay the person making the proposal is called the promiser the and the person accepting the proposal is called the promise c i don't believe that i need to elaborate more just mark it in your bear act all right now when we are writing an answer on this i'll tell you what all will you need to mention so that the examiner gets impressed because remember in the law optional specifically we have to tailor our answers according to the examiner's needs and wants not economically speaking just generally like needs and wants regarding the answer that they are trying to look for okay when at the desire of the promiser who was the promiser the person making the proposal aap the na is case mein promiser when at the desire of the promiser the promise or any other person has done or abstained from doing now any other person bhi hai ji yahan pe so this relates to the doctrine of privity will come to it a bit later in the in this contact act section of the course or does or abstains from doing basically ab maine ya to kuch kar diya hai kaam basically main gaadi ki chabi aapko de raha hu ya gaadi aapke liye taiyar vyar kara di hai maine nahi hamari baat cheet ho gayi hai or promises to do or us to abstain from doing something such act or existence of promises called a consideration for the promise 
So in this case, what is the consideration? Consideration for me is you're going to be paying me 20 lakhs so from my point of view, my Nazaria, you are going to be basically giving me 20 lakhs. Okay. And, and so that is the consideration for me, from my point of view. And for you, who's the person who's standing on the opposite side of this deal, what is the consideration that you are going to get a car in return? Okay. So promise. पहले हमने क्या किया था जी प्रपोजल डाला था सो प्रपोजल के साथ साथ लेट्स जस्ट राइट इट सम वेयर हियर प्रपोजल के साथ साथ हमने क्या किया पहले प्रपोजल हुआ एक्सेप्टेंस बनी इज इक्वल टू प्रॉमिस अब प्रॉमिस के अंदर हम कंसीडरेशन डाल रहे हैं अब ये कुछ बनेगा लेट अस सी व्हाट दिस इज सो अब लेमैन लैंग्वेज इन कोलोक्वियल लैंग्वेज वी से अरे भाई अब तुम मेरे को क्या दोगे मैं इतने भाव में तुम्हें ये दूं लीगली हम क्या करें दिस इज अ consideration for the promise because promise में acceptance डली हुई है तो वो अब proposal के साथ basically proposal से निकला हुआ है proposal पहले आया था then acceptance आई थी then promise आया promise के अंदर अब हम consideration की बात करें कि क्या लोगे और क्या दोगे in Hindi okay now every promise and every set of promises forming the consideration for each other is an agreement every promise Great. And set of promises forming the consideration for each other is an agreement. So, aapki meri baat ho gai, consideration be set ho gai. So, therefore, now it has become an agreement. Right. Promises which form the consideration is part of the consideration for each other are called reciprocal promises. What does this mean? So, you pay to the shopkeeper. That's, you know, that's an implied promise that you're paying something, somebody for their goods and they promise you back to if they get the money to deliver the goods to you so that is what we call as a reciprocal promise abhi humne section 51 pe ab jab pahunchenge course mein iske bare mein dobara detail mein baat chit kar lenge but to uh, just aap sirf ye baat yaad rakhiyega that that ki reciprocal promises basically it's in everyday uh, use reciprocal promises are the most frequent you are promising the shopkeeper that i'll pay you for your goods as soon as you give the money the shopkeeper is in a promise with you that well if i get the money i'll give you your goods Okay, section 51 में दोबारा डिस्कस करते हैं। Now, an agreement not enforceable by law is said to be void. Great. So, what are basically what we call void contracts that the court can't enforce? So, for example, let us say that you get into a deal with your drug dealer that you are going to pay them 10,000 rupees, and let's say they are Shahid Kapoor of Orta Punjab. Or whatever the character that he was playing from that that movie and then he promises to get you uh, cocaine for i think it was tommy singh yeah so tommy g is promising to get you let's say uh, five grams of cocaine so now what does that mean that you can you can you go to the court and just ask them now tomorrow let us say tommy singh runs away and then can you go to the court and ask them ki jat sahab 5000 rupees diye the cocaine nila hai meri think about it such contracts which the court cannot enforce, they are said to be void. So they are void contracts. So we have to make a list of in the course that what are void and what are voidable. An agreement enforceable by law is a contract. There is no way on the planet that you will not basically be mentioning these two pointers in your opening answer on the contract act. To let the examiner know that you know the basics. An agreement enforceable by law is a contract. So Think about it. Abhi iske upar zara ek Venn diagram bhi ban sakta hai. But I'm just going to explain it via the use of statements only. An agreement which is enforceable by law at the option of one or more parties there too. But not at the option of other or others is a voidable contract. So voidable. Alright. Void. C. Able. Alright. So it's void able. That means it is able to be voided provided that one of the parties whose option it is at which the contract is voidable reaches the court and asks them ki please buddy matlab buddy to nahi bolenge judge ko ki please isko void kara ke dijiye for example let us say you are uh, due to undue influence basically pressure in which the chacha ji or your pita ji is dominating your will that is your free will and then they make you enter into a contract it is a voidable contract because you may just turn out to be very happy with that contract what does that mean? So, for example, let us say that due to the undue influence of your Pitaji, you went into engineering and, you know, just not 
you thought you were not going to like it but then at the end of the day you started loving the subject so you never really approach the court just giving you a very hypothetical out of like legal technicality example that, that is why we have it as a voidable contract ki aapki ichha hai aapki marzi hai agar aap nahi pahunche court to get the contract declared to be void it is it is a perfectly valid contract but the other contracts which are void so they are void ab initio that is void from the very beginning such as a contract for example let us say with a minor it's absolutely void all right now a contract which ceases to be enforceable law becomes void when it ceases to be enforceable so for example let us say that you enter into a contract with let us say a builder and uh, the builder is promising ki ji main yahan pe plot mere paas hai i'm going to make the the flats etc on this very plot of land then what happens is ki ji aapka kya iske andar scene chalega ki government let us say just hypothetically uh, assuming you know we get into a war with china etc and then the government acquires that uh, land because you don't really have a right to property as a fundamental right as you pretty much will be knowing from the constitutional lectures the government come mandatorily acquires now the builder you know you really really cannot do anything even if they they want to even the builder wants to fulfill the contract they just won't be able to a contract which ceases to be enforceable by law becomes void so therefore then it becomes void and this is also known as the doctrine of frustration we will cover it out in the course it's a very very good concept you know you you really need to know it about it in in depth but doctrine you know, of frustration aage dekhenge i think about section 56 if i'm not mistaken okay now we look here so guma ke agar main bolu to agreement is an accepted proposal all right now a contract contract ke andar jahan pe bhi contract hoga there has to be an agreement if there is an agreement there has to be a promise if there is a promise there is an accepted proposal thus every agreement is result of a proposal by one side which is accepted by others i believe is kyun matlab mujhe kuch bolne ki bhi zarurat nahi given that we have already discussed this now we move forward an agreement that the law will enforce is a contract as we said earlier but now we have to jump ship to section 10 now open your bayrak to section 10 what agreements are contracts All agreements or contracts if they are made by the free consent of point number one, just note down. As a bullet point, बना लीजिएगा वहाँ पे अपने आंसर के अंदर. Section ten याद रहे तो you know great. तो section ten के आगे नीचे लिख दीजिएगा. You need not remember the section word to word. It is not required for the law. So if you can quote the section and if you can quote the ingredients of the section, great. And associated case laws and that's about it. कोई रट्टा मारना नहीं है. All agreements are contracts. If they, you can you can reframe this. the crucial ingredients for an agreement to be a contract is there should be free consent okay now free consent ke baad pointer number 2 i'm not going to write it you write it for a lawful consideration a big gaadi to is lawful but cocaine isn't correct with a lawful object same funda and are not hereby expressly declared to be void so when we go further in the course we have to see a list of void contracts there is voidable contracts bada sara kuch right so here by express his meaning ica that's indian contract act okay theek hai ji okay now we come to that when diagram wala scene is every contract is an agreement kyunki agreement to hoga hi right but not every agreement is a contract crucial detail write this down tell this to the examiner that you know this from section 2 you will get a lot of good marks okay now or basically you can say you can even rephrase this sentence that every agreement is not a contract but all contracts basically they are agreements theek hai ji hopefully baat samajh mein aa gayi hai i don't need to explain this agar nahi samajh mein aaye to comment section mein basically on the website the user discussion board let us discuss this if need be we'll discuss it over the what's up voice notes as we keep on doing in the course now so it has to have some consideration that's given in section 25 bada pyara section hai bada mazedar section hai in fact jab padhne mein aayenge tab dekhte hain two clause d parties have to be competent as per section 
द कॉन्सेंट हैज टू बी फ्री और ये कॉन्सेंट फ्री की बातें थर्टीन टू ट्वेंटी टू में हो रखी है ऑब्जेक्ट हैज टू बी लॉफुल सेक्शन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी अगर आप ये चीज नहीं याद रख सकते आई डोंट केयर इट इज ओके पॉइंटर्स नोट डाउन कर लीजिए ठीक है जी एग्जामिनर को बता दीजिएगा कि आपने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एल ओ आई से पढ़े थे तो अच्छे ही पढ़े हुए हैं राइट लॉ ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट जस्ट राइट दिस डाउन इट्स एन इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ वॉलेंटरली क्रिएटेड सिविल ऑब्लिगेशन राइट दिस डाउन द लॉ ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड शाइन और इज द इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ वॉलेंटरी क्रिएटेड सिविल ऑब्लिगेशन बट नॉट ऑल so some civil obligations are covered under the under the law of torts some under the law of trusts some under statutes some agreements they capture the very essence of for example you know there is a proposal there is agreement there is consideration but they don't you know the parties never intended to have any legal consequences for example let us say such an example your friend whatsapps you ki aaj raat ko aaj you are ghar pe and then we both will um, have let us say a particular brand of drink will enjoy and i'll basically host you for a dinner and then you reach there and your friend cancels out on you or let us say that you know you enter into uh, basically isi isi scene ke andar ki aapka friend keh raha hai ki thode se paise de de bas baki sab main dekh lunga aap paise de dete aur baki aage kuch hua nahi and that, right now see did you did you guys intend to enter into legal consequences that is the question and is this applicable in india that is another question that we are just going to come to to discuss out the case laws right to ye cheez england mein to you need intention basically you intended to enter into legal consequences jaise intention ke bare mein humne baat kari thi ipc mein humne bahut bari baat kari hui hai pure course ke andar hi hai but yahan pe yahan pe in the indian context do we need do we need this uh, aapka ye wala scene that the intention is required to enter into a contract if all other elements are getting fulfilled that's a gray area of law and that is the question in the law optional abhi aake is pe dekhte hain theek hai ji now we are starting out with the proposal or it basically it's, it's called the offer as well all right so this is the starting point of a contract as i've said earlier the proposal slash offer has to be the crucial element it has to be there has to be a signification there has to be an over signification and there has to be an assent from the other side that they communicate their consent that they yes their thumbs up to you that hey buddy i you know let's let's do this right so that's what the proposal is okay ye bare mein baat kar chuke hain not going to repeat myself section 2 mein hopefully you mark this the proposal ke andar hamesha do element likhne ki signifies to the other and with the view to obtain the assent the so assent is crucial now let's come here that's chapter 3 communication acceptance and revocation of proposal or the communication of proposal the acceptance of proposal and the revocation of proposal and acceptances respectively are deemed to be made by an act aapne koi act kari hai ya omission kari hai that you know that whatever in your proposal ki aap keh rahe the ki ab se main ye kaam nahi karunga hum bahut baar apne pita ji ko kehte hain ki aaj se hum ye kaam nahi karenge right of the party proposing accepting or revoking by which he intends to communicate such proposal acceptance or revocation or which has the effect of communicating it what does this mean that which has the effect of communicating so you are communicating basically aapka ji proposal ho raha hai to yahan pe hum baat kar rahe hain communication that is from one side you are communicating to me that you want to buy my car that i then i will basically talking about i'll be talking about rather about my acceptance of the proposal okay now how do you communicate by words of mouth or writing so we are we call this express offers the aap samne wale ko directly bahut bata rahe hain like for example if you want to like propose to someone that i want to marry you this is an express offer but or by conduct or let us say forget about marriage marriage is in advanced stage let's say that you want to ask out someone right so you are asking them out by conduct you are sending them lovey dovey messages you are buying them stuff you know you are expressing your feelings but not via words but by your conduct so that is an implied offer so there are by the words of mouth or you give them in writing well this is your proposal so that's an express offer this is an implied by implication yaad hai na ye wala jo ye wali jo term hoti thi hopefully you can see this right call in school ke andar rather maths mein implies this implies right so that means it is now implied that the equation will be heading in this direction so you are implying by your conduct that you are interested in something or someone right chalo 
अब ऐसे सम्मान वाले केसेस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट में नहीं आते बट जस्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्रपोज प्रोमिस एक्सप्रेस एन इम्प्लाइड इन सो फार एज दोपोजल एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ एनी प्रोमिस मेड इन वर्ड द प्रोमिस सेट टू बी एक्सप्रेस इन सो फार एज सच प्रपोजल एक्सेप्टेंस इज मेड अदरवाइज एन वर्ड द प्रोमिस सेट टू बी इम्प्लाइड राइट सामने से एक्सेप्टेंस भी इम्प्लाइड हो गया आपने भी इम्प्लाइड ने इशारा किया था एंड बेसिकली इम्प्लाइड और ये सब कौन जज करेगा जज साहब जज करेंगे ना कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ में राइट ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से दैट यूर बिडिंग एट एन ऑप्शन इट्स एन इम्प्लाइड ऑफर टू बाय राइट सो इट्स एन इम्प्लाइड ऑफर यू आर बिडिंग टू ऑब्वियसली वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू वॉन्ट बाय दिस नॉट दिस इज एन ऑप्शन सो दे फोर बाय योर कॉन्डक्ट you are stating that if you know if the price is match then obviously i'm going to buy ab kal ko ye nahi ho sakta that the auctioneer tells you well well we are willing to sell to you at your price and you say nahi nahi bhaiya mujhe to nahi chahiye main to aise hi bol raha tha it's an implied offer to buy so implied promises to pay for the benefits enjoyed so for example let's say that you go into a self service restaurant and then you know you uh, start eating stuff and then they ask you to pay basically as soon as you started eating it's an implied promise to pay for the benefits enjoyed theek hai as simple as that i believe it's very very simple right now write the case law down this is not exactly very important but just still write it down so ram ji daya wala and sons private limited versus invest import so this is a 1981 case i believe law entrances mein bhi kabhi kabhi usme ek legal reasoning ka question aata hota tha back in the day in 14 15 but aajkal to maine kabhi nahi dekha khair anyway there was an indian company there was a yugoslavian party they both entered into a contract the contract was signed so there was an arbitration clause ki bhai koi jhagda hua so we are going to not go to the court of law we will go into arbitration that is a point an arbitrator now what is an arbitrator that matlab agar hopefully you already know this but कोर्स के एक सेक्शन में आपके पास वो चर्चा आएंगी सो इट्स बेसिकली सॉर्ट ऑफ यू कैन से एन ऑल्टरनेटिव डिस्प्यूट रेजोल्यूशन मैकेनिज्म दैट्स एन एडीआर वी कॉल इट इन लॉ एंड वो कोर्ट से परे होता है कि हम भाई प्राइवेटली झगड़ा सुलझा लेंगे वी आर रिच पीपल वी जस्ट पे एन आर्बिट्रेटर सो बेसिकली वी विल गेट अ प्राइवेट जज सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग नाउ सो आर्बिट्रेशन क्लॉज वाज देयर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वाज साइंड बाय द इंडियन कंपनी बट देन द इंडियन कंपनी स्टार्टेड ऑब्जेक्टिंग टू दिस क्लॉज बट सामने यूगोस्लेवियन पार्टी नेवर रियली रिस्पोंडेड दे जस्ट केप्ट देयर साइलेंस ऑलराइट so it was only silence now it was held by the supreme court that the arbitration clause was deleted via an implied agreement because the yugoslavian party should have objected to it should have said no no we are not interested you know should have done something but by their silence you know this is an implied that we can understand that you have agreed to our objecting to the deletion of or rather objecting to the arbitration clause and we want it deleted you have agreed to it okay so this is an implied agreement communication when complete now start the crucial case laws the communication of a proposal is complete when it comes to the knowledge of the person to whom it is made bhai samne wale ko pata chalega proposal ke bare mein tabhi to gaadi aage chalegi na aapko offer hi nahi pata hoga kisi ko how exactly are they you know going to be interested for example let us say that you never got to know about this course how exactly will you ever get to let's say enroll in it buy pay pay my fees for it and then basically we start teaching you for it understood so how can you accept an offer slash proposal without its knowledge write this case law down is case ke bina aap answer nahi likhenge agar iske upar aaya ki communication of proposal ke upar koi answer hai lal man shukla versus gauri dat very very popular case law in the llb semesters so that's the alabad high court now the defendant's nephew he absconded from house and basically the defendant kyunki jinke upar complaint lagi hui hai so he's defending himself so he sent the servant out to find the nephew and while the servant was out trying to find the nephew he also printed certain bills basically bills in the sense certain mini posters and basically wanted to award 501 rupees shagun hai 500 rupees to everyone servant came to know about this offer after he had already traced the boy so then the servant showed ki bhai mere ko mere 501 rupees chahiye i really really want it then basically you know he sued it but the judge sahab said you know how exactly are you coming under the indian contract act because you need a contract because for a promise to exist there has to be a proposal slash offer proposal slash offer ki aapne acceptance kari hogi right as we discussed no acceptance because there was no knowledge to you to the servant 
how exactly are you entering into a contract for a contract there has to be proposal there has to be an acceptance which turns into a promise which turns into a consideration and then we are and if all of that you know the consent is free the object is lawful the consideration is lawful and basically you are not a minor etc well then then and basically in, in short you are competent to contract therefore then only do you enter into a contract so therefore you know, there was no contract in this case write this case down and app section art basically as usual it flew so i have to make a quick edit anyway communication when complete section char section na bhi aadare because you know you have a lot many things to remember in the in the law optional only baki the upsc to any which way is a mountain in terms of syllabus but zara yahan pe agar agar yahan pe aapko ye yaad aa jaye ki communication when complete is section 4 well then do mention it do mention lalman shukla versus gauri dat okay now as we discussed in the opening minutes of the lecture there is intention to contract now under the Indian Contract Act, there are no statutory provisions which enshrine this concept of intention to contract. There are absolutely none. Ki koi intention to contract wala scene hai so is pe dispute hai, this is a grey area of law. So English law says, you know, common intention of parties to enter into legal obligations. Loose talk is not equal to contract. Ki aapki yari dosti mein baat ho rahi hai. It's not equal to contract. And write down this case law, Balfour versus Balfour. Very, very crucial case law. So, Lalwan Shukla versus Gauri Dutt ke baad aare ji, Balfour versus Balfour. Write this down. Cannot write an answer on such topics without quoting this case law. So, the defendant and his wife, they were on leave in England, Englishmen. But the defendant had to return to Ceylon. That's an island in the Sri Lankan, basically the island group range. Yahan se, I think these gemstones etc. also come. So, Ceylon se aata to the wife was recommended by the doctors, the medical professionals the, to stay back and the husband said I'm going to pay you 30 pounds per month as maintenance so that's okay. The husband returned to Ceylon, the wife stayed back in England. The husband did send the amount for a certain amount of time but then differences arose and you know, well then this amount went into arrears. The wife sued for claiming this amount. So. For example, you know, now in, in this, this court said, let's come to example after one second. This The court said, you know, did you guys enter, the wife and the husband, did you guys intend to enter into the legal consequences? Mind you, this is an English case law, so we're talking about common law system here. England ka case hai, humara nahi hai. Did you guys intend to, you know, enter into legal consequences? So court has to decide in each case whether this intention was there or not in England. Okay. For example, let us say that again, I have an example of hospitality. Wala, somebody is, you know, in loose talk, they tell you, aisa, aisa kar lenge, aisa, aisa is this really a contract? Think about it. There may be a proposal, there may be acceptance, there may be a promise, there may be consideration, but is this really a contract? Think about it. Correct? Okay, ji? Achha. So, this, you know, not, not what the parties think, but the, the logic should be that a reasonable person is viewing it from a third person party angle. Did you guys intend to, to enter into a legal consequence? Now, third person, we will say that the judge That is viewing it from a reasonable point of view. Basically, Mr. Reasonable, law, like trigonometry, maths, etc., Mr. X, whoever, whoever was you know, always napoing the height of the building. Here, Mr. Reasonable is in the law. So, they will check what is happening and what is happening. All right. Now, Indian law mein kya position hai? Ye to England mein hogi, that intention has to be there. So, Balfour versus Balfour mein, that's all said, said you know, we, they dismiss the wife's case. Ki nahi, nahi, sorry. Ye to nahi, hum de because you guys never intended to enter into any legal consequence. Wo to bas shabda shabda mein aapko bol diya tha ki chalo main jaro, main paise de now, this is not a contract. That's what they said. And, and our Indian Contract Act is flowing from all of the common law systems. All right. Now, Indian law mein position kya hai ki the Supreme Court expressed reservation to this funda on the intention to contract under Indian Contract Act, write down the case law CWT versus Muhammad Ali 1988 and left that you know the Supreme Court never really went into any detail. So it's still an open question of what exactly is happening here, but we have to go to a 1973 ka case law in just one second. Achha, CWT versus Muhammad Ali, yad rahe, nahi rahe, nahi farpatta. Lalman Chukla versus Gauri Dutt, yad hona chahiye, Balfour versus Balfour, yad hona chahiye, aur ab hum jis case law pe aare, wo yad hona chahiye. In Banwari Lal versus Sukhdarshan Dayal. 
राइट दिस केस लॉ दान बनवारी लाल विश्व दर्शन दयाल दस नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री केस लॉ नाइन सेवन थ्री में और क्या हुआ था केशवानंद भारती का जजमेंट का ईयर या फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट जस्ट नेचुरली कंफ्यूज इन थिंक अबाउट इट वॉट वॉज दैर इन नाइन सेवेंटी सिक्स नाइन सेवेंटी थ्री टाई डाउन एवरी थिंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन तो आपने छोड़नी ही नहीं है ना आपके जी एस के पेपर भी यहीं से निपटेंगे लॉ ऑप्शन में भी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है हर जगह कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पॉलिटी का तो बोल बाला है तो जब भी ऐसा कुछ ईयर वेयर आए तो कनेक्ट कर लीजिए लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्ट ट्वेंटी एज एव ऑलरेडी टोल यू पार्ट ट्वेंटी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी ऑफ दी आई पी सी लिंक टूगेदर आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी वन सेक्शन थ्री सिक्सटी वन ऑफ दी आई पी सी आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी वन ऑफ दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लिंक टूगेदर तभी सेक्शन भी याद रह जाएंगे और आर्टिकल भी याद रह जाएंगे और तैयारी बहुत टॉप क्लास निकल आएगी ठीक है जी सो एट दी ऑप्शन सेल बेसिकली दिस वॉज बेसिकली इन दिस केस एट एन ऑप्शन सेल द प्लॉट्स ऑफ लैंड वर बींग बेसिकली आपको दे वर बींग सोल्ड ऑफ एंड बेसिकली पर्टिकुलर प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड वॉज सेट टू बी कि जी इस पर धर्मशाला बनेगी ठीक है जी अब धर्मशाला बनेगी तो अच्छी बात है बट लेट अप लेटर दे सोल्ड दिस वेरी लैंड विच एट दी ऑप्शन दे वर से इस पर तो धर्मशाला वगैरह बनेगी सोल्ड फॉर प्राइवेट पर्पज सो दी परचेजर्स दे शॉर्ट टू रिस्ट्रेन दिस सो हमारे जज साहब कहते हैं माइक्रोफोन्स हैव नॉट येट गेन द नोटोरिटी एज कैरियर्स ऑफ बाइंडिंग बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो प्रोमिस ओवर लाउड स्पीकर दे सेड दे आर क्लैप ट्रैप्स ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स एंड इट वॉज मियर पफिंग अप पफिंग अप मतलब हवा में ऐसी वो तो बेचने के लिए माल अपना काम कर रहे हैं कोई कोई लीगल इंटेंशन तो नहीं है ना टू एंटर इन टू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिस इज नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री क्या केस लो बट नाइनटीन एटी एट वाला क्या कह रहा है That we are leaving it open. That we really do not agree with this intention to enter into a contract. So, by the 1973, while a case law, or in 1988, while a judgment, I right. So, promises over loud, you know, loudspeaker. They are not exactly. Then they don't intend to enter into contracts. Or, as a loudspeaker, if we start to do it, then we will take the leaders and take them to the contract act. Because the leaders, who are the ones who are talking about elections, are the ones who are talking about the future. Is that ever going to happen? Is that ever going to happen? All right. Now. What are general offers? This again case law. आप नहीं में basically आप so this is another topic but ये case law आप नहीं skip out कर सकते this is Weeks versus Tybold. What is Weeks versus Tybold? के अंदर हुआ स्वयंबर हुआ था basically. Now the topic the मुद्दा is in this case law is offers may offers must be made to a definite person. Okay so offers have to be made to a definite person in this case. This was hundred pounds. Basically the father said whoever marries my daughter with my consent. Gets a hundred pounds. So plaintiff did so, and plaintiff said, "Ki lau bhiya, mera paisa do." So this uh, his, his basically his case was dismissed. Ki nahi nahi, this this offer wasn't made to a very certain person. So it has to be a very definite person that the offer is made to. But then this case was overturned. This was the perhaps the only instance that this position was overruled. That's why this case was important. All right. So uske baad se humne ye cheez aage se follow nahi kari. We have overruled this in many case laws. So the modern position is that the offer can be made to the world at large, but not a contract. Offer तो आप generally आप किसी को भी दे सकते हैं. Let us say for example your dog gets lost. Hopefully not, but your dog gets lost. Let's say that you lose your iPhone. Let's say that you lose your laptop. You can always print, and whoever finds it, it's rupees five thousand, rupees ten thousand, whatever the award that you want to give, right? So you're making an offer to the world at large. In weeks versus Tybalt, we said you cannot do this, but then we overruled it. ठीक है जी तो वीक्स वर्सेस टाइबोल्ट की पोजीशन समझा के आप जनरल ऑफर समझाएंगे अगर जनरल ऑफर के ऊपर क्वेश्चन आता है तो ठीक है जी तो नाउ यू कैन नाउ एन ऑफर नीड नॉट गो टू द सर्टेन पर्सन बट अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय वन सो दैट द फॉर अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिस ऑफर हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड रिमेंबर वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ऑफर स्लैश प्रपोजल उसके अंदर हमने इमीजिएट क्या डाली थी जी एक्सेप्टेंस डाली थी सो इट हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय अ डेफिनेट डेफिनेट पर्सन हेयर इन वी कम टू द कार्डिनल केस लॉ ऑफ कार्डिनल वर्सेज का बोल एक स्मोकॉल कंपनी और राधा नोन एज दी स्मोक बॉल केस इसके बारे में अगर आप अगर आप ऑब्वियसली लॉ ऑप्शन में नाइनटी परसेंट चांस है कि ऑलरेडी यू आर फ्रॉम लॉ बैकग्राउंड दिस यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अगेन एंड अगेन इन योर लॉ स्कूल सो हेयर एन द कंपनी सेट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गिव टू हंड्रेड पाउंड टू एनी वन बेसिकली हु कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इन्फ्लुएंजा आफ्टर यूजिंग आर स्मोक बॉल सो उस टाइम पर इन्फ्लुएंजा वगैरह कॉमन गोल्ड एक्सेट्रा फीवर बहुत ज्यादा था सो दे सेट हुए यूजेज आर मेडिसिन इज गोइंग टू गेट गोइंग टू गेट वॉट A hundred pound. Basically, it, you are not going to get influenza, but if you do get influenza, you want to get hundred pounds from us. Shart rakh di. And this was an offer made to the world at large, correct? And to show that they were serious, in the ad they only mentioned that we have deposited thousand pounds in the Alliance Bank. So when basically a lady took their smoke ball and still contracted influenza, so she said, "Ki lau bhiya, mere saw pound do." Or saw pound us time, but it's almost like so. Please, we have fifty, sixty lakh rupees. What value will they have? Because it's a very old case. 
So the defendant said, well, hey, defendant is the company in this case. Well, hey, we never really had any intention to enter into such a contract with you. Second, second, an offer cannot be made to the world at last. So they were relying on weeks versus time. But here, Judge Saab said, so agar if you had no intention to enter into a contract, why have you deposited the thousand pounds into the bank? To show your seriousness, right? So this is not a mere puff. This is not a mere aap hawa baji nahi kar rahi. You are actually serious. So aapki intention to yaan dikhi rahi hai mujhe. An offer could not be made to the world at large. So judge sahab said, well, hello. It can be done. Aisa nahi hoga. So judge sahab said, why not? An offer slash proposal can be made to the world at large. Acceptance had promise. If it is accepted, the, basically the promise then ripens into a contract. Okay. So, here is a line. Likh it is an offer to become liable to anyone who before it is retracted performs the conditions. And although the offer is made to the world, the contract is made with the limited portion who come forward and perform the condition on the faith of the advertisement. Pause the lecture here. Rewind it if you want to. I want you to write these four to five lines now. Now, in such cases, the communication of acceptance is not necessary. So, for example, again, that dog lost and found example, you know, let us say that somebody then starts to look out for your dog. They need not, you know, tell you, ki, hello, there is my acceptance of your offer. Then only now I'm going to proceed ahead. No, obviously, acceptance to tumne di nahi thi, beta. Under the contract, it does, does it really seem reasonable? So whenever you are making a general offer, so these are called general offers to the world at large, the communication of acceptance is absolutely not necessary. Okay? Then we come to acceptance by performing conditions or receiving consideration. Performance of the conditions of that section 8 now, by the way, we are into. Performance of the conditions of a proposal or the acceptance of any consideration for reciprocal promise which may be offered in the proposal is an acceptance of the proposal. You have performed the conditions of the proposal. In this case, for example, we're talking about general offers here, then or general proposals, you can say, then you have accepted. So by it's an it's an implied acceptance so by your conduct, you have accepted the thing. Okay, Acha. Write this case law down. Har Bajan Lal versus Har Charan Lal. If you can remember it in your exam, great. If not, Kalil smoke ball. Apke Gauri Datwala case. Balfour versus Balfour. Weeks versus Tybalt. Aane hi aane. Right. Acha. Here in, in this case, young boy ran from home. The father were basically announced in award ki anyone who finds the boy and brings him home is 500 rupees. Plaintiff was at the railway station. He overheard a conversation about the boy and he spotted the boy. He basically took the missing boy to the police station and sent a telegram to the father that I found your boy. Please give me my money. And then as usual, you know, aap samjhega ki kya hua hoga. To kamari. The father would have said, no, no, sorry, 500 rupees bachata hoon hai. Right, Pansar Bhai then they then say yeah, somebody rescued your uh, boy, but then you know he didn't give to so the court held in such cases. You know, acceptance beforehand is not necessary. Bhai. It's a thought and order. So, general offer is of a continuing nature, it's open for acceptance till retracted. Jaise wo pound to, unhone das logo ka to hisab rakha hua tha na, 100 pound per head. Dene ka. So, it's, an, it's open for acceptance till it's it's uh, retracted and in missing cases for example such as this case they're closed as soon as the first information comes in as to where the boy is where the dog is etc etc okay now always remember that you have to distinguish between offer versus invitation to treat to receive offers right so for example a man is giving an ad on olx or let's say shop pe price lagi hui hai right aapka pata hai ki showroom mein hi price lagi hui it's not an offer it's absolutely not an offer. It's an invitation to offer. I am inviting you to come and keep me an offer. I can sell you at this price. I am telling you that I have to sell you at this price. But I am inviting you that come, let me hear your offer. So they're, legally, they are called as invitation to offer slash invitation to treat. Okay. So no offer to be bound by any contract. Offers to negotiate, offers to receive offers or offers to charge for. Wherein a party without expressing his final willingness proposes certain terms to which he is willing to negotiate. So that is what the shopkeeper is trying to do. Because MRP is there. Maximum retail price. You can also sell it below. Provided that you have negotiation skills are up to the park. But he is inviting you that you will buy it in which way. In real life, it doesn't happen. In real life, it doesn't happen. 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 
मतलब सबके ऊपर कोविड के बाद वैसी दिक्कत आ रखी है बट बट इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर है स्लैश इन्विटेशन टू ट्रीट है ये बात याद रखेंगे ठीक है जी अच्छा सो देफ ही इज ओनली इन्वाइटिंग दी अदर पार्टी टू मेक एन ऑफर ऑन दो टर्म्स दिस इज वेर वी कम टू हावी वर्सेज फेसी क्रूशल केस लॉ कैन नॉट बी स्किप्ट हावी वर्सेज फेसी हावी वर्सेज फेसी के अंदर जी क्या होता है प्लेटिव टेलीग्राफ डी डिफेंडेंस राइट विल यू सेल एस बंपर हॉल पेन अच्छा जी तो टेलीग्राम टेलीग्राफ आज दी लोएस्ट कैश प्राइस रिप्लाई आया लोएस्ट प्राइस फॉर बंपर हॉल पेन सो दैट्स अ प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड बेसिकली उसका नाम रखा हुआ मैंने इज नाइन हंड्रेड पाउंड सो रिप्लाई टू वापस गया टेलीग्राम पर बातचीत चल रही है नॉट हमारे आजकल मॉडर्न डे टेलीग्राम पुराना वाला टेलीग्राम दैट वी अग्री टू बाय एट नाइन हंड्रेड अच्छा जी डिफेंडेंट्स रिफ्यूज सो ऑब्वियसली द प्लेटिवस मेन टू कोर्ट कोर्ट सेट कि पहली बात जब आपने पूछा था दैट वॉज अ विलिंगनेस टू बाय और आदर विलिंगनेस टू सेल राव एंड वॉट इज द प्राइस दे नेवर टोल्ड देयर विलिंगनेस टू सेल दे ओनली रिप्लाइड ऑन द प्राइस डिफेंडेंट सेट कि भाई लोएस्ट लोएस्ट तो नौ सौ पाउंड उसके बाद ऊपर बैठते हैं ना टेबल पर बैठते हैं सो इट्स नॉट एन ऑफर इट्स एन इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर इसके लिए आप मतलब लेकिन जा सकते फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप अपनी कोई प्रॉपर्टी बेच रहे हैं कि भाई मिनिमम तो मुझे दस करोड़ रुपए चाहिए इस इस प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड के अब वो साढ़े दस मिले पौने ग्यारह मिले सवा दस मिले कुछ भी मिले भाई टेन पॉइंट टू फाइव फॉर दो सीट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इन दी टेन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टेन पॉइंट फाइव ओवर एंड अबाउ टेन सी आर एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नो सो यू हैवन रली मेड एन ऑफर यू आर जस्ट टेलिंग यू दैट आई वॉन्ट टू नेगोशिएट ऑन दिस सो यू आर इन्वाइटिंग द अदर पर्सन टू मेक देयर ऑफर राइट सो दिस इज द क्रूशल डिफरेंस और यहाँ आप हावी वर्सेज फैसी से ये वाले बेसिकली फैक्ट से आप समझाएंगे ठीक है जी अच्छा सो दिस इज बेसिकली द कोर्ट सेड वेल देर वॉज देर वॉज नो ऑफर देर वॉज नो एक्सेप्टेंस यू रियली कांट सो देन वी कम टू कॉल इन डी आई मैक पर्सन वर्सेज एम एन अपन्ना ज्यादा अगर मतलब आपने नहीं भी लिख सकते केस लॉ कोई दिक्कत नहीं बट हावी वर्सेज फैसी का प्रिंसिपल यहाँ पे फॉलो आउट हुआ था अब इस केस में क्या हुआ था Plaintiff basically, the plaintiff offered to buy the defendant's lodge for six thousand rupees, and, and wrote to the defendant's agent, whose ki lodge hai usko defend kar raha, ki whether his offer has been accepted. The and they also wrote the plaintiff wrote that prepared to accept any higher price if found reasonable. The agent wrote back that won't accept less than ten thousand. So he offered for six thousand. They said won't accept less than ten thousand. Plaintiff accepted and brought a suit for specific performance. Kill out the six thousand. Think about it. What should the judge do? Right. So the judge sab held the defendant didn't make any offer. It was he was inviting offer. Give me ten thousand. Say niche to me. Say baat mat karo. Ten thousand ke upar tum kya la sakte ho? Gyara la sakte ho? Bara la sakte ho? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whatever. Right. So ab ye kaam ab yahan se karenge. Now similarly, shopkeeper's catalog. Again, it's an invitation to offer. So, invitation to intending customers to offer to buy at prices displayed. Okay, ji. This marks the end of this lecture. So, Balfour versus Balfour, Harvey versus Fassi, or Fassi rather, sorry. And then Harvey versus Fassi, ho gaya Balfour versus Balfour, Lanman Dutt versus uh, Lanman Shukla versus Gauri Dutt, right? Very crucial case law, the smoke ball case. सारे ऑल ऑलमोस्ट यू कैन से प्रेडी मच रिलेटेड टू दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अभी तक हमने कौन कौन से आज सेक्शन टच ऑन करें सेक्शन टू टच किया सेक्शन टच टेन टच किया देन वी गेंट टू सेक्शन फोर देन वी टू सेक्शन एट क्रूशल क्रूशल केस लॉज क्रूशल क्रूशल सेक्शन फ्रॉम द इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट अब इसके बाद चलते हैं जी एक्सेप्टेंस पे सो बेसिकली नो आई एम आई एम फॉलोइंग द क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ अवतार सिंह दैट इज द बुक सो दैट यू डोंट नीड टू रीड इट यू कैन प्रेडी मच स्किप रीडिंग इट हम लोग यहाँ पे सब कुछ कवर आउट करें दट साथ यू नो नीड टू वरी ठीक है जी नाउ सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर लेट्स कंप्लीट आउट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आट वेरी वेरी सुन टेक केयर एंड ऑल द बेस्ट बाय